Hey everyone, Coach Investor back to another video for today. So, is Intel making an error? To those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Mobileye IPO. Earlier this year, it was announced that, well, Intel would like to IPO Mobileye for around $50 billion, or well, the valuation would be around $50 billion. Then we had rumors that, well, they're cutting that to around $30, $40 billion. And more recently, we heard that, well, it's not even going to reach $20 billion. So what exactly is going on there? And are they making a mistake? Now, most of you know, I hold Intel in my portfolio and I'll repeat it again. I have no plans on selling any shares. I keep collecting dividends. I use those dividends to buy more shares. And maybe after they report their earnings next week, which we're going to cover in this channel, I might be buying more depending on how good or how good the guidance actually is. Other than that, I'm sitting on my hands. Obviously, do share your thoughts down in the comments below. Right now, I'm purely using Intel as a future, let's say, bet success story, but currently just for dividends. So let's talk Mobileye at the end of the video. I'm just going to have a quick look at the graph, talk a bit about maybe some technicals, etc. If you're interested in that, maybe you should just skip to that part. Otherwise, maybe hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't. Would really, really appreciate that. And if you want to support me and this channel, to check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to full.com forward slash couch investor and make sure to check out all the other links in the pinned comment, some of which might actually save you some money. So... Mobilize IPO. Is it a mistake to go public at a sub $20 billion valuation? Now, from a, let's say, non-Intel investor, but an investor in potentially a great ADAS company, it might be very, very good news, right? Because you get to buy shares of a company at a much lower valuation than before. On the other hand, you have the Intel investors and Intel as a company as well, who would obviously like to raise much more money with this IPO to help fund the business that is right now, which needs a lot, a lot of money, a lot, a lot of investments. So we have two sides of the coin here. Obviously, we're going to have a look at that right now. So obviously, we will have the comparison of Porsche. They ipo not so long ago. It has now outperformed the S&P 500 since the ipo last month, up close to 12% by October 18, while the S&P 500 is up 2.2%. So maybe, yes, going with a cheaper valuation in the current market environment. They're saying here that maybe the proposed price will be in the range of $18 to $20 a share. Maybe that will attract many, many investors and might push the stock up directly. That's that's a possibility. Now, what is peculiar, let's say... What does that mean? Peculiar, peculiar Harding. Peculiar. Peculiar. Harding. peculiar. peculiar. Is that the valuation of Mobileye will be around $15.2 billion. And that's just a 3% gain of what Intel paid for it back in 2017. Since then, the S&P 500 has returned 57%. So, yeah, there is that. But, our, but obviously, IPO in Mobileye does not mean that, well, Intel is selling it. No, it's just going public. And if Mobileye gets a higher valuation, maybe the market will also give Intel a higher valuation since Intel still controls it. You see what's, what's happening here? If you're an investor of Intel, you should keep that in mind. So why is Intel pushing to go public even at such a low valuation? Well, like I said, lots of investments. So Intel has committed to spending a record $23 billion in CapEx this year, 51% above its average annual outlay over the past five years, and will even burn cash in the near term, which it hasn't done since at least 1990. Now, Intel will raise around $4.4 billion from the transaction, including a special dividend from Mobileye and $900 million from selling its movie business to Mobileye. That is obviously, well, not that much if you compare it to the $23 billion in CapEx, but there is obviously also the CHIPS Act that will provide up to $52 billion in direct subsidies to US-based semiconductor production projects, and there is also the one in Europe. 
So there's probably not really a good move right now because Intel is in a special situation. It wants to turn its ship around, but it needs to spend a lot of money. So maybe it does not have the luxury to wait until the IPO market turns around and maybe we see an IPO market like in 2019, 2020. So they go at a sub $20 billion valuation and hope that the market maybe pushes Mobili up will use that to fund their business, will use that to maybe get a higher premium on the stock as well. And then maybe in the future, if Mobileye is a success, sell more shares as well. So there is that. I also want to talk a little bit. I just want to touch on one point with regards to insider selling. Well, in this case, insider buying. So insiders at Intel has been loading up this year. So over $6.5 million worth of stock have been purchased. Now, of course, 6.5 million, not that much, especially if you look at the salary of the executives, but it's better than just selling stock. More particularly, the CEO Patrick Gelsinger, Pat, spent half a million dollars on stock. Again, if you look at his salary, not really that much, but then again, he probably has a package of getting more and more shares, options, etc. And then lastly, the stock. Well, you've probably seen this graph a thousand times already, but as you can see, the stock is doing exactly what I predicted. Yeah, I have a magic, I have a crystal ball. Just kidding. Just a, a lucky guess. You can see this big green candle here back in 2015. That's where it bottomed and bounced back up. Right now, we can see that it did exactly that, but there is still no big green candle there. Maybe that will come after they report earnings, but otherwise, be on the lookout for $25. If it goes below, well, might go towards the $20. And then it will just become extremely, extremely cheap. So overall, that's what I want to share with regards to Mobili, with regards to what I'm doing with my shares of Intel right now. Nothing really special, collecting dividends, buying more shares with those dividends, waiting for the earnings report, which we're going to cover on this channel. If it's good or good enough or guidance is better than what was expected, I might be adding more because I do think that the yield you're getting right now is pretty attractive. Plus the possibility of it turning back into growth mode is certainly lucrative at these valuations. Obviously do share your thoughts down in the comments below. Are you holding, buying, selling? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.